the movie stars that we all know by face and name, just about any actor will let you know that it's the director that's the true wizard behind movie magic. So today we are going to highlight the qualities that make a great director, find out what happens when an actor turns director, and as usual, let some of our favorite celebrities rave about, you guessed it, their favorite directors. All today on Celebrity Soapbox. I also want to acknowledge Ron. I told you already, but really, thank you for consistently making such beautiful stories about the human soul. And it's really, you always inspire me, always, and inspire so many people. And to go towards those things that are important in life and that truly mean something to us. And you always capture that, represent that, and tell that story, and just thank you. But well, that's always the best. That's all you ever want. That's all you ever ask for is a director with a very specific uh, uh, point of view. Most of the time you don't find that to be true. Usually they gather a lot of footage and then they get in an editing room and find a film. And Steven's the guy that starts from the very beginning with a really strong point of view. And, you know, he's a great friend and I've done six films with him and I just, you know, I couldn't be more happy than to be working with him anytime. And believe me, I don't, you don't sit around thinking, you could do that better, you know. I, of course, accepted the job because of Ali. I, I would have done anything, uh, uh, played anything for him. And I think um, when Ann and I talked about the character, um, what I liked about the character is that she knows everything that her husband is doing, and that makes the character inherently more complex. I think his uh, scripts are always very solid which is really, you know, the foundation of everything. And then he's so well-rounded. I mean, he's, you know, the, the visual, the sound, the drama, and the training, the actors. It's just uh, really intelligent and fortunate. I think, you know, he, he has the right partnership. And I think that uh, what makes a director really stellar is someone who is in intelligent, well-read, um, has a theater background um, and someone who has a, a love of actors and their process and a deep respect for the process because that enables, I mean, he, he's an actor's director. He knows how to speak to actors in a way that is inspiring and um, helps us to get to a better place. The film No Country for Old Men swept the 2008 Oscars with four wins, including Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Screenplay, and in honor of today's show, of course, Best Director. But in this case, directors going through the Coen brother team. Here's what the film's cast had to say about them. They uh, believe in preparation um, almost as much as I do. And, I, I, and that I admire. They, they're not... Uh, the kind of director that would um, go to a location and put some actors in it and turn on a camera and then start looking for a shot. Um, as a result, you don't waste a lot of time. You get things done in an orderly, timely manner and um, you don't have to talk a lot. The coins makes things very easy. They are very smooth and calm and funny. And they know the word teamwork. They know that uh, a movie is a work where everybody is important. They know that and they give the room to everybody there. And they are open to everything you bring with yourself, with you. And if you, they are not happy, they will let you know. But they let you know in a way that it's not threatening or, or pushing you. It's like very. I'm creative. Awesome. Bad, bad. I like little green monsters, you know, running around. It's like a, the nightmarish kind of thing, you know, and they manipulate you and they make you do bad things and they lock you up at night just to enhance the character and the tension and the tone of the whole thing, you know. It was hard and I, would, I wouldn't do it again. I mean, if they paid me, I would, but otherwise, no way. Not Thank for you. me. Without fail, the directors most appreciated by actors are the ones who've been on both sides of the camera, and here's why. There's never a time when you're working with a director who's been an actor where if you come to them with something, 
there's going to be that reaction of, I don't understand. Because if they're, if they're an actor, they, they understand the uh, exploration. They understand the question. They understand the need for the question. So there was never a time where any one of us wanted to do something. Whether he thought it was right or whether he thought it was wrong, there was always that understanding that, oh, well, now that's a point. You know, he always let us try it. He always um, let us experiment. And I think that comes from his own experiences as an actor and what that requires. What was your most favorite thing about working with Ben? Um, his enthusiasm and his trust um, that he, he placed place in my lap, you know, and uh, when you have that from a director, there's great freedom. Yes, I mean, I think it was really important to uh, Denzel and all of the producers to create this cocoon for creativity to blossom. You know, they, it, it, was, it was made up of cr uh, crew members that they had worked with throughout their career, you know. Um, and I think Denzel said something like 80% of the mm -hmm. people that worked on Antoine Fisher came back to work on this film. So everyone knew each other, and it was like one big family. I mean, it was kind of emotional when it ended. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but the, the, one thing you don't know about Denzel is he is hilarious. He's a, yeah. he's a funny guy, he makes a lot of jokes. There's so m For him to be such a dramatic actor is something you talk about. Um, the, the, the jokes, he's always telling jokes, he's always so light and he's so mm -hmm. approachable in that he's not this stern person that you're afraid to approach, you know, so it was, it was great. Probably the best experience I've had in film yet. It was, it was I wouldn't say it was easy, nothing's easy, but it was just, there was no tension about it. You, 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 you give you such a feeling of confidence because you realize after you've done a few scenes that he trusts you. He trusts you. He doesn't tell you how to do things and stuff like that. He just trusts you. And you begin to realize that, that you, you can just relax and let it come out, however it's going to come out, and he'll trust you. And if he needs a little adjustment, he'll tell you. But it can give you such a feeling of confidence, and I wouldn't say ease, but you know, acting is not like easy, but it, it allows you to open yourself up, really become vulnerable. Basically, being in front of a camera requires an actor to be vulnerable. In one way or another, open up and, and you know, the firing squad could shoot you. You just go ahead and be vulnerable and not be frightened. And, and just go for whatever comes along, you know, whatever emotion where you grab it. And, and you will protect your performance from the other actor. And, and, and when, a, when a director creates an environment where that is, is what happens. That's a gift. We couldn't think of a better way to close our show today than to leave you with some words from a man considered one of America's greatest film directors, Mr. Stanley Kubrick, in one of his last appearances. But I'm in London making Eyes Wide Shut with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. And just about this time, I'm probably in the car on the way to the studio, which, as it happens, Reminds me of a conversation I had with Steven Spielberg about what was the most difficult and challenging thing about directing a film. And I believe Steven summed it up about as profoundly as you can. He thought the most difficult and challenging thing about directing a film was getting out of the car. I'm sure you all know the feeling. But at the same time, Anyone who has ever been privileged to direct a film also knows that although it can be like trying to write War and Peace in a bumper car in an amusement park, when you finally get it right, there are not many joys in life that can equal the feeling. I'm Angela Bakke. This has been Celebrity Soapbox, and thanks for watching. <laughs>